Hey guys and welcome back, I'm Zemo, the dad of Dad Plays Stuff and today we're going into some of the useful items found on wild Pokemon and an easy method for obtaining them. But before we get into that, don't forget to smash that like button, drop me a comment about what you've enjoyed about the video or any of my videos and what you'd like to see in the future. And if you went that far, why not subscribe? You'll lose nothing from it. Now if you've played Pokemon for as long as I have, <coughs> 20 years, <coughs> you'll know that since items were implemented, wild Pokemon have been holding them in the wild. Granted, most of the time these items are not that great or useful, but in some cases they are brilliant for battles. Now the two main ones I want to discuss today are Black Sludge and Leftovers. Now the first we will go into is Black Sludge. Out of the two, this is the harder to obtain due to it only being available on two wild Pokemon and only being on those Pokemon 5% of the time. Now, those Pokemon would be Krogunk and its evolution Toxicroak and Garbodor. Now, Black Sludge is a useful item that restores health every turn, but only on a poison type Pokemon, much like Leftovers does for all Pokemon. The benefit of this being that if the Pokemon is tricked, the offending Pokemon will lose health if it isn't a poison type. And in ranked battles, it allows you to use Black Sludge and Leftovers at the same time. So if you're using something like Toxapex, it's better to use the Sludge than the Leftovers. Gaining the items are pretty simple. There are three methods that you could use, the first being the move Thief or Covet. Now they're seldom used moves due to them being pretty poor in actual battles, but what they allow your Pokemon to do is to steal the item from the opposing Pokemon if you're not currently holding one. Now that's great and it's pretty simple. The next method is to use a move like Trick or Switcheroo. These work in a similar fashion to Thief, but instead they swap your current item with the opposing Pokemon's. However, if you don't have an item, it just takes your opponent's. The final method is pretty simple. Catch the Pokemon in front of you, and you're good as gold. Easy as that. Now, that's all great. Find a Pokemon with an item. Switcheroo, Thief, Catch. You've got the item. But as I said, some items have only a 5% rate of being on the Pokemon in the wild. And then some have a really low spawn rate for the Pokemon themselves. Halucha is one that comes to mind. Well, there's a better method that increases your odds of the item and that is to first have a pokemon with the ability compound eyes now what this does is it increases the chance of the pokemon having their held item in this case it boosts it from five percent to a whopping 20 percent then to save even more time we can have a second pokemon in our party with the ability frisk now what this does is it tells you if the opponent's pokemon is wearing an item and it just saves time more than anything. Now, after that, you can just catch, steal the item, it doesn't really matter, but Compound Eyes and Frisk are a really good combination. And don't forget, if you're hunting multiple Pokemon with, for multiple items, to remove the item off of your Pokemon that is using Thief or Covet or whatever you're using in order to get the item. Now the second item we were going to discuss today is Leftovers. This item can be found easiest in the Pokemon Munchlax and it already has a huge rate of 50% chance that the item is going to be on Munchlax. So Compound Eyes really isn't needed, but the same method for taking the item applies. Now the last factor that comes into it is weather. And certain Pokemon either won't appear until a certain weather is in effect or just appear infrequently. The best place to check this is your Pokedex, however the easiest method for obtaining the weather you desire is using the date on your calendar in your settings on the actual switch. Now unlike the Max Raid Den reset glitch, you don't need to do any Max Raids. You can literally just go into your calendar, change your date by a day and that will reset the weather of the wild area. Therefore it makes it easier for you to find the Pokemon you're looking for and saves you having to wait like six days or a month till it's a sunny day where Munchlax is kicking about and you know it, it just makes it a lot simpler and some people might see that as a bit cheap but if it works it works. 
Now at this point you'll see on screen a list of Pokemon and items. These are the Pokemon that have what I regard as the best items that you can currently get from wild Pokemon. So feel free to have a look at them. I'm going to leave some links down below in regards to the full list of Pokemon that have wild items and their uh, relevant pages of where you can find them. Well, that's today's video. I just felt it would be a good idea to make it a little less awkward in finding these items and in the case of some of them, stop people wasting BP on them. So if this video has been even remotely useful to you, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, a comment on what item it helped you find, and if you want more videos like this, especially since the DLC is literally imminent within days at this point, hit me with that sub for more content in the future. And with that, see you later guys.